the program is called LifeWise Academy. So you already probably hate it, right? You can already tell it's evil. Yeah, it's a program that preys on Ohio school children. And as I learned about it, there was just this steady echo of how the fuck is this legal repeating in the back of my head the whole time. Here's what it does. It takes a bus to local schools. It picks up a bunch of kids, takes them to church, teaches them about how awesome Jesus is, gives them candy and prizes to bring back and flaunt to all their non-Christian classmates, along with invitation slips they can give to their friends to encourage them to also become Christian, and then sends them on their way. And no, this is not an after-school program. This happens during the fucking school day. Kids do this instead of, like, gym class. Now, think about that. Imagine yourself as one of the students who wasn't going to LifeWise Academy that day. Now, first of all, all the kids who, who do go to it wear a special red T-shirt that day, right? These sneeches have stars. So from minute one, you're outgrouped. Then when you go to the gym class, the, the worst of all the fucking classes, you get to watch them pile on a big red bus together and sing songs that you don't know. Then when you get back to homeroom, they come in all giddy to show off their new stickers or magnets or whatever. All you got from gym class was a couple of fucking bruises and the awkward trauma of being naked in front of your peers. They got magnets and stickers. And just then, when you're at maximal jealousy, they break out their invitation notes. You could do it too. You could skip your least favorite class once a month or once a week or whatever. You could get cool prizes, eat candy, be part of the club. All you have to do is change religions, 10-year-olds. Now, and, and keep in mind that if these kids convert enough of their classmates, they're rewarded with a pizza party or an ice cream party. So you're getting hit with some damn motivated evangelism. And somehow, all of that is legal. Apparently, there are a pair of Supreme Court cases from 1948 and 1952 that allow for religious instructions during public school hours, provided it takes place off campus, isn't paid for through tax dollars, and isn't promoted by the schools. Mormons have taken advantage of it in Utah for decades, as have Jewish groups in New York. But just because it can be done legally doesn't mean it is being done legally. The Freedom from Religion Foundation has received at least a half dozen complaints from concerned parents in Ohio who believe their schools did promote the program. In one instance, the school's fucking principal walked a volunteer from classroom to classroom on the first day of school so he could tell kids about the program. Hard to imagine what promotion even is if it's not that. There was even one case where a teacher shared a LifeWise permission slip with a Hindu girl. A, a, a tutor that was in the classroom tried to intervene, tried to stop her, and the teacher defended herself by saying she was, quote, just telling her about Jesus, end quote. I was just trying to switch her to the right religion. What's wrong with you people? But, but, but even when they do stay inside the bounds of the law, it's fucking disgusting. LifeWise's founder brags about what a high percentage of the students that attend his academy are from low-income households. He's trying to sell it as, look at us, we're, we're offering something nice to the least fortunate. But in reality, that just makes it all the more heinous. They're offering candy and pizza parties to children with food insecurity on the condition that they worship Jesus Christ. And of course, this isn't the kind of thing anyone else can take advantage of, right? Minority religions could do stuff like this, sure, and some of them do, right? But you can bet your ass the Muslim version of LifeWise doesn't get led from classroom to classroom to give their spiel. And there's no way in hell the Muslim version sends kids back to school with you too could worship Allah pamphlets for their friends. This is one of the many instances where only the majority can abuse this rule. I mean, if the fucking Muslim kids at a school in rural Ohio wore a special T-shirt on that day, it sure as hell wouldn't make the rest of the school feel outgrouped. And based on the Christian reaction every time Satan is trying to give out a fucking coloring book, you can only imagine that that bus would probably get firebombed if we tried to do it. This is just another reminder that if you want to know what they're doing, just look at what they're accusing us of. Right? Their boogeyman du jour is the liberals grooming their children. Now, they say grooming because that's more lurid than the thing they actually mean. But what they're actually accusing us of doing is indoctrinating children. They're accusing us of using the schools to promote our ideological agenda because when you're bigoted enough, tolerance becomes an ideological agenda. But the whole time they're freaking out about Heather having two mommies, they're doing this kind of shit. They're literally rounding children up for indoctrination class. They're trying to replace school counselors with school chaplains. They're coercing children to pray with them on the 50-yard line. They're meeting at the flagpole. They're fighting to reintroduce mandatory prayers in schools. They're sneaking religious horse shit into science textbooks. Oh, and they're also literally grooming our children. 